All right, man, we got the top five loadouts after the season five update, and I'm not gonna lie, these guns hit. Banger, man, if you guys feel like I left any gun off this list, like legend, it has to be in the video. Let me know down in the comment section, and if you guys do enjoy the video and find it helpful, do me a favor, drop a like on the video, see if you can get this video to 500 likes in one single day, and I will bring you guys the top five SMG. Gotta give a shout out to the Nodi gang. If you guys do wanna be featured in the video, y'all already know, just comment it down below. But enough with all that talking, make sure you guys follow all my socials, and um, enjoy the video. All right, man, so first gun we got up on the list, if you guys didn't know, the Graw 5.56 caught a buck. You guys already know this is one of my favorite ARs in the game, top five in my personal opinion, and it was already good, but now it received a bigger buff Come on now, man. You guys have to try this setup. This is the best setup that you guys can possibly run on a garage. This thing is a no recoil machine. And you guys absolutely love it. So enough of all that talking. Let's get straight into the setup, man. So for the very first attachment you guys are going to want to run is the muzzle, the monolithic suppressor, which gives you a sound suppression and damage range. The best muzzle on MW guns. You guys already know this, man. For the underwear, we went ahead and ran the commando foregrip, which gives you recoil stabilization along with your aim and stability. Like I said, this, this gun is already a no recoil machine. So adding, adding all these small things on here is going to really, really help it. So for the magazine, we went ahead and ran the 60 round mag this is mainly for trios and quads if you guys are running like solo duels you guys can't run the 50 uh help with your ads speed but it isn't that bad with the six round mag plus you know i love the six round mag you can't go wrong with like a lot of ammo second to last test run is the laser the attack laser which gives you ads speed aim stability along with your aim walking steadiness then the very last attachment we ran is the best barrel on the Graal 5.56 which is the tempest 26.4 inch arch angel barrel which gives you a damage range bullet velocity along with your recoil control this buff caught everybody by surprise but the Graw, everybody's saying, like, it might be the new meta gun. The, the, the meta just might be back. But enough of all that talking, man. Go to take a screenshot. So surprisingly, next gun we got up on the list, which caught a buff. If you guys remember the PPSH meta, this thing was absolutely broken. And then they buffed this gun in today's update. And I think the meta just might be back since they nerfed all of the really, really top SMGs, the PPSH might be dominant again. Enough with all that talking. Let's get straight into the best setup, man. So for the muzzle, we got the recoil booster, which just extends your fire rate, of course, help uh, with the TTK. For the underbar, we have the carver foregrip, which gives you a vertical recoil control along with your hipfire accuracy. This is a hipfire build because you guys really don't need to ADS with the PBSH, but you can if you need to. The barrel is the 230 millimeter uh, BO3 barrel, BO3P, which gives you your hipfire accuracy, hipfire recoil recovery, recoil recovery along with your fire rate to help with that TTK. Magazine is the eight millimeter Nambu 70 round mag, which gives you recoil control and accuracy, Fire rate along with their magazine ammo capacity. Ammunition is lengthened, of course, just so, you know, when you guys hit fire, you, you want to hit every shot. It used to be um, incendiary until they nerfed it, but you guys definitely don't want that now. For the uh, rig grip, we have the fabric grip, which gives you ADS time, sprint and fire time, along with your hit fire accuracy. Perk one is fleet, just to give you that weapon swap quickness, along with your movement speed. Perk two is quick to turn you into a speed demon. Stock is the remove stock, which gives you hit fire accuracy, move speed, along with the sprint and fire time. Then the very last attachment we ran, which is always optional, optics are always optional, is the ISO 3P uh, optic, which is basically like an iron sight for the PBSH, which gives you ADS speed along with like alternate iron sight, which is takes takes it all basically but uh, yeah i can't believe they bust this gun it was absolutely broken and now the meta for this just might be back too i don't i don't know man but uh go to take a screenshot now next gun we got up on the list is the cooper carbine personally one of my favorite ars right now in the game that you guys have to try after the update the cooper just might be one of the new best ars top two top three in the game for sure but enough with all that talking i gotta show you how the best setup so for the very first attachment we ran is the muzzle the mx silencer which gives you sound suppression horizontal recoil control vertical recoil control along with their damage range it's amazing you guys definitely want to run that for the barrel we ran the 22 inch cooper custom highly accurate highly accurate and controllable fire rate reduced gold sway and gun bob along with your damage range the best barrel the under barrel the under barrel is the carbon foregrip which gives you a vertical along with your uh hip fire accuracy for the magazine we ran the 9 millimeter 60 round drum recoil control and accuracy fire rate ads speed along with your magazine ammo capacity love it ammunition is lengthened that gives you your bullet velocity you definitely need that on an ar for the rig grip we have the polymer grip which gives you a flinch resistance along with your accuracy and recoil control during sustained fire and then the perk one is tight grip accuracy and recoil control during sustained fire this thing is an absolute laser beam with these attachments like it literally has zero recoil for the perk two we have fully loaded for the stock is the cooper custom padded stock which gives you accuracy and recoil control during sustained fire that's literally the third one along with your flinch resistance and then the best optic on it is always optional personally for me the best optic for the uh, cooper carbine is the svt 40 pu scope which it has the three times along with just the regular six times if you guys want to go further range 
this scope has to be the best on most Vanguard ARs that I personally love, man. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think the best Vanguard AR is right now and go to take a screenshot. Now, I'll be honest, I don't think you guys expected to see the Cold War MP5 on this list. Possibly top five ARs in the game. Not top three, but top five. This thing competes with all Modern Warfare SMGs along with all Vanguard and Cold War SMGs. For it to be nerfed and still one of the top SMGs in the game is absolutely insane. You guys have to try this new class setup that I made. So enough of all that talking. Let's get straight into it, man. So this is an all new build that you guys definitely have to try for the muzzle y'all already know what we ran is the agency suppressor which gives you a sound suppression vertical recoil control bullet velocity along through effective damage range absolutely hits on the mp5 for the underbarrel to keep up with the vanguard smg's movement because that's the only thing the vanguard smg's mainly have over it along with the ttk as the bruiser grip we ran the movement speed along with the hip fire accuracy top tier for the magazine we ran the standard 50 round jump which just extend your ammo of course uh for the stock the best stock now a lot of people run no stock i do not recommend that because it takes away like it only gives you your sprint to fire time. Raider stock itself has sprint to fire time along with two other uh, pros, and it only has the same con. So what's the point of not running Raider stock? Gives you your sprint to fire speed, aim walking move speed along with your ADS fire and movement speed. Then the best, I, I know you guys thought I was going to say barrel. We didn't run a barrel, which gives you that really beautiful sight. The best uh, last attachment we ran is the rig grip, the serpent wrap, which gives you your ADS time, man. Absolutely freaking Dominant, a dominant SMG that you guys have to try after the update. But um, go to take a screenshot, man. So the next gun we got up on our list, man. Even though this gun did get touched, the Marco 5 is still undoubtedly one of the best SMGs in the game. Especially if you guys are going up against the new SMGs, the old SMGs, the Marco 5 still top three. A, uh, SMGs in the game that you guys have to try, man. So getting straight into it, man, we got the muzzle, the recoil boost, which gives you a fire rate. Amazing for the TTK. Amazing on uh, most Vanguard SMGs. For the barrel, the best barrel is the Body 240 millimeter VL barrel, which gives you a fire rate. Again, amazing for the TTK. Now, this gun does kick up quite a bit, so for, to help with that, for the underbarrel, we ran is the M1930 Strife Angle, which gives you a horizontal recoil control, of course. For the magazine, we ran the 8 millimeter Nambu 64 round drum, which gives you a hip fire accuracy, recoil control, along with your magazine ammo capacity. Which is best Basically extend your ammo for the ammunition we ran lengthen just to give us that bullet velocity i really don't like hollow point or incendiary that takes away uh damage range along with bullet, bullet velocity or damage for the rear grip we have the hatch grip to help more with the recoil control it gives you a horizontal along with your vertical recoil control and the flinch resistance perk one is unmarked just because there's not a lot of uh, good perks for perk one unmarked seems to be the best for position concealment perk two is quick which gives you a sprint speed stock is the emerito fr stock which gives you your initial fire and recoil control recoil recover ads speed along with your movement speed the best optic on it in my personal opinion is the slate reflector but i see a lot of people run a lot of different other things so whatever works best for you y'all already know the the optic is always optional i tell you guys that all the time and that's basically the Marco 5, man, after the update. Now, it did get touched. I showed you guys what happened. And it personally still is, for sure, top three SMGs in the game. But uh, go to take a screenshot, man. Now, the very last gun we got up on the list, man, is the EX-1, the new laser gun in Warzone that absolutely hits, man. Now, a trusted source Warzone loadouts has said this has to be the best loadout so far that he's come up with. And he's amazing. Everybody gets his loadout from him, so I trust it. We got the muzzle, the TLL disc trim. The optic, the SVT-40. Y'all already know, man, the best optic. The underbarrel is the I Oh, and the hand stop. The rear grip is the hatch grip. The kit is on hand. Barrel is the PWN beam condenser. Stock is the AC steady moss. Magazine is the DIM. And then the proficiency is the steady. Absolutely a dominant build. When you guys unlock this gun, let me know what you guys think. And I will bring you guys a crazy 30 kill gameplay. If you guys want it, y'all already know, man. Just drop a like on the video. Just let me know you guys want it, man. I'm really, really excited for this new laser gun. And uh, yeah, that's basically what it is. But let me know your favorite loadout currently after the update. Every gun on this list hits and it's absolutely Absolutely amazing, man. I can't wait to get into this new season to bring out crazy gameplays for you guys. But if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, drop a sub, but it'd be very, very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, if it's right up in a circle, but that chopper get low. Yeah, I bet that chopper get low. I bet that chopper get low.